Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. This time it will be about how to render a wireframe on your mesh as well as also make it um, a solid color with the wireframe on top of it. So for this I'll use this tractor here. Uh, if I hit F4 you can see this is what the wireframe looks like in the max viewport. But if I were to go and do a render it would look like the standard gray material. So there are, I'll give you a few different options on how you can go about doing this. Uh, first thing is we'll go to the material window, just choose a material here, and where it says standard, we'll change that over to composite. And a composite allows you to make multiple materials and layer them together. And when you click that, it'll bring up this dialog. You can say keep old material, that's fine. And then it parks it right there. So for mat one, we'll click none, and then standard, and this will be as, uh, this will act as the base color. So say I wanted to make this some kind of blue and then the next material will be the wireframe color itself and then uh, so I, I was in my standard here and then I went up a level so I hit go to parent and then where it says mat 2 just click none again a standard material and this will now act as our wireframe color so maybe I want that to be white and if you look here at the material ball it just looks white but when I click this wire checkbox here all of a sudden you can see the white with the blue underlay. So if my object selected, um, in faces mode back then, there we go. I can select the material, go here to assign material to selection, and it might look a little crazy in your viewport, but that's okay. When, uh, when you go to render it, uh, for me, I'm just saying the hockey F9, you'll now see that it is rendering the white wireframe with the blue fill color and it, that's what my alpha would look like so that that frame is good to go uh, there are some other settings if you want so if I go back into this material and go back to my wireframe here if you click extended parameters where it says size that acts as the size of the wireframe itself and by default it's at one pixel but you can change this to other things so if you want it four pixels wide now if I render the white will be much thicker than before so you can see here that wireframe is much, much thicker than the one pixel because now it's acting as four pixels wide. So you can play with that setting to get the look that you want. Now let's say you want to render the wireframe without a fill color. So I'll just go over to the next material here and you kind of saw how to do that already. So if I want, I'll just click the wire here. Now you can see that it's just a gray material with the wireframe itself. So I'll assign it and here's what it'll look like in our render. There you go. And this one has, so if I'm clicking my alpha, everywhere it's black is actually alphaed out, so you can do some cool compositing stuff with this if you need as well. So those are just two quick ways of rendering your wireframe. Um, if you have any ideas for videos you want to see, let me know. And always remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks.